see the hands are supposed to come up with the palms down till you get to the water and then you turn your palms up. Take them down, palms down, and push it to your legs. You should be glad I do this. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to walk. I'm going to be walking back and forth now. <laughs> Isn't it nice? Isn't the water nice? Hmm? Hmm? Is it? You don't drop your camera in the water. Just take a picture of you. Ah, oh, hey, we got you. Hey, we got you. Don't get him in my way. <laughs> no, it's just this, just the tops of your fingers. Oh, David. What? Oh, I didn't know. I'll get him out. Just go back. It's just a hose. He's in my way. <laughs> He's impeding my progress. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> if you say. <laughs> That's why we didn't want to do classes with the Tai Chi people. They got in our way. And you just drowned them. I guess there were a few kicks and a few <laughs> children. Mm-hmm. Such children. They just couldn't get along. They wouldn't even try. Your class? Both of them. <laughs> One was as bad as the other. I'm glad they separated us, though. It's much better. And do you like your new boss? Which one? Either. One of them. One of them you like? Mm -hmm. West Park? No. Lakewood. Lakewood. And how long has he been there? She has been there for at least six months now. Wow, it's a think. long time. Maybe longer. Wow. Her name is Jessica. Jessica what? Shepherd. Shepherd? Like the dog? P-P-A-R-D. P-P-A-R-D? So no, not like the dog. I am now rolling my thumb at the thumb joint. There are you. And now I'm going to reverse that thumb roll and roll them the opposite way. Now how do your class participants know what you're doing? Because I tell them what to do and I watch them show them what to do. I do it up out of the water, see, so that they can see. And then I put my fingers down. And it's supposed to be done under the water. Why? Because the water is cushioning your joints. Says? Is this the Arthritis Foundation? And do they have a publication? Do they have a publication? Oh, definitely. The instructor's the only one that can get the manual. Now we're going to do our thumbs to our fingertips, actually touch the nail of each finger to the thumb and open up wide in between. Down in the This isn't funny, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. <laughs> and how many people that we've helped to feel better. Our next exercise now 
just putting the thumb to the base of each finger and then open wide in between. And how is that different? And now they've told us not to put it to our little fingers. We have no idea why. Because you just do what they say. We have to go by the book. People with arthritis, their thumb joints are bent further in anyway, so it's very easy to go to the little finger, but we're not supposed to. So we don't. What happens if they do? Nothing. No. I'm sure a lot of them do. I just teach the way it's told. In the book. Talk to them. And now we glue our elbows to our waist. Put our hands up. Palms up on the water like this. And I couldn't do this a year ago. Why? Because I broke my wrist. How? I went boogie boarding. So anyway, you put your hands up and down. And up and down. And you're only turning at the wrist. And that's how my wrist got to be so much better after my cast came off because I was doing these exercises. Okay? And if you keep your arms, your elbows at your waist, it keeps you from turning your whole arm, which is what you don't want to do. You just want to turn the wrist. Okay? You got that? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put our hands all the way out in front of us with the palms up. See how nice and flat my palms are? Look at that. Wow! Look, Dr. Lou. <laughs> Take them all the way back. Back where? Way back behind you. Lift the water up. Touch the shoulders. And lift the elbows. Ooh. Uh, I'm not going to lift my elbows. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. Now I'm going to pray my hands. And you keep them by your waist. And it's up, down, out, and back. Up, down, out. And that's all wrist motion to wrist and elbows and shoulders. Oh, good exercise. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And now we're going to be doing our arm circles, which is the last part of our exercise class today. See, if ever you want to do this, all you have to do is look at your video and you'll know what to do. Okay. Arms should be straight out from the shoulders. All this is shoulder motion. Palms are supposed to be up in the air, but some people can't do it, like Cindy, because her wrists are so bad with her arthritis. What happens if you have a torn rotor cuff? Well, then you don't do it. No. Oh. And now you just do little circles to the front. Nice and easy. And you do little circles to the back. Nice and easy. And slowly. I have a couple ladies in my class that just want to do it with me so fast. No, they don't talk. They just do everything fast. And I have to tell them slowly. And the one lady, all I have to do is look at her and she'll say, slowly. Now we're going to do our circles, still with the palms up to the front. What's the difference? Bigger circles. Bigger circles. It's so good. You should make an instructional DVD. Right. Do you do the same thing every day? Yeah. Every class? No variety? The variety is 
they're yakety yak and then they don't <laughs> do everything. I might be doing my thing and they're still doing the first thing. Do they ever move off the first thing? Yeah. They do. On their own? Yeah. Not on their own, <laughs> by my telling them. We do in, at West Park, we do four widths, just like I did here. And when I d have finished the fourth width, I start the next. And they might be on their third or the second width. At Lakewood, we only do two widths because the pool is very wide. Okay, now we're going to clap our hands at the front and turn them and clap them in the bag. But do it under the water. When you clap your hands in the front of your chest, 